Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are still on no man's land and today is quite a big day as I'm going to be purchasing the cows, getting some livestock on the farm. Been looking forward to this bit. Looking at the barns, the barns look really nice, the Hessian barns I think they're called. They're kind of like an Austrian type barn. You might have seen a preview in it in my earlier video about the cows tutorial. But just to get the money up first, I'm going to head down. Look at the crops, they're growing really nicely there. That's the sugar cane from the last episode. Already starting to grow, looks like it's in the first stages of growing, that's good. So what I'm going to do is nip down to the uh, stitch, the needle and stitch. We have four pallets worth here of cloves, they're all worth around 16 to 18,000 each. Looks like it's not going to quite pick these up. I'll reverse it round. Let's get a bit tight round here, so I might uh, I might do a bit of a bit of a jangle, move things round a little bit. But this will get us back in some good money. Absolutely beautiful day. The sun is shining on my face. Middle of June. What more could you wish for? And you're going down to the shop to sell some produce. There's the sugar, which is going to get the sugar cane put straight into there to turn it into sugar. Because I want to eventually turn that sugar into some chocolate. Maybe get into the cakes production. I do want to go down every production chain I possibly can. Now I'm going to flatten this as well. It is a little bit bumpy around here, so I'm going to... Uh, try and sort that later on yeah it's good to have you all back let's get this first batch sold this should put us around 30,000 I'm hoping oh more 40 50 maybe 60,000 can't be bad so yeah I'm gonna get back down to the farm and see what we can purchase with this moolah once we've got the lettuce as well. There is some lettuce to claim there, so we're going to get these picked up. It's a big money day. Just down at these sheep pens, we've got these bales here that we wrapped on the previous episode, if you saw them. It might have been the episode before, losing track a little bit. Jump in the stair and we'll get down with this front loader attached. We're going to pick these up. It's just grass that I have cut, that I fed to the sheep. And because it's been wrapped and baled, a couple of days have gone by and it's turned into silage. So we can use that silage to make free total mixed ration which is feed for the cows so it's uh, it's all working quite nicely cut the grass for the sheep and what they don't eat we'll uh, let it turn silage and give it to the cows so it's all relatively free apart from obviously the mower love seeing the um, the sugar cane growing there because it does automatically grow back as well so once we harvest that 
should be some good money in that. I've got a funny feeling if you follow that series, there's going to be this series. That series? Follow this series. That entire field is going to be worth around 150 to 200,000. If I just sold it, but turning it into sugar could be even more. You might be talking 300, 400,000. There's a lot of sugar cane. That is a big field. I think this is going to be a good idea. I ha I'm not going to bother with chickens as yet, which means that I'm just going to go and drop these off. While I'm down here, though, I'll pick up a couple of bales for the total mixed ration. But what I'm wanting to do here is um, sell this crop, this sorghum, the last of the sorghum that we got from the silo from the old farm. We'll get that sold, and then we can use that money to buy the equipment, get as much in as possible to get the cows. So let's get these attached, get back down to the shop and get all the equipment we need to get the cows fed and happy. First up I bought one of these Anderson Pro Chops that you just need to stick the straw in so we can get the bottom of the cow barn all nice for them. So we'll get one of these stuck in and get back down to the, uh, get back down to the barn. In fact, I'll put one in at a time because I know that's going to be tricky. There we go, and we'll get this down and we'll set, uh, get the bottom of the barn all nicely done. It should take around, I think to be 100%, about four or five of these round bales. So I'll get one attached to the front as well so we can take a few more down with it. I probably should have brought the trailer. But this will do. It'll get everything nice and ready for them. It's going to be nice to start producing some milk. Could see some big money rolling in once we've got these production chains going. We've got clothes. Now we're moving into chocolate. We've also got these greenhouses. I mean, I'm going to be rich beyond the wildest dream. Absolutely love this new little area as well. I don't know what you guys think, but it's so much better than being down at the bottom, closer to the shop. Short drives just looks a lot better. It's starting to look like a real proper map. When you first get on no man's land, it does look a little bit bland. Let's see which way around. I think we have to go the other way, but I'm just going to cut through to see if it does prompt me, but I don't think it will. Nope, no such luck. I like that though because it makes it a bit more realistic. So obviously the pipe, the pipe out at the top is obviously pointing the other way. I have done total mix ration before and it does seem to just drop it wherever, but it does still go into place. I like it to be a bit more realistic. So we'll drive in the proper way and get these, uh, get the bottom of the barn all nicely prepared. Ready for welcoming our cows to the farm. Yeah, looking at how much of the floor it's covered, I think it's going to be about three or four at least of these bales to get it 100%. So let's get on with the rest of that, and then we can bring them in, because I've heard from the delivery driver that the cows are on the way, they should be here within 20 minutes. So we'd best get a move on.
We have cows on the farm. That is good to see. Second batch of livestock done. Just need to go and get them the total mix ration now to make sure they're all 100% happy because I think it's same as FS19 where you have to make sure you give them total mix ration to produce milk. I might again be wrong but on FS19 you did have to give them total mix ration or they would just become beef cows. You wouldn't be able to, you could sell them for meat once they got to the right age but obviously they didn't produce milk. And I had a bit of a problem with that with one of my farms, so straight down to the shop. We're going to get the equipment to make the total mix ration, because this time I'm going to make sure they're constantly at 100%. And we have a constant feed of milk. I'm just going to go for the cheapest option. Won't make much difference, because we haven't got a lot of cow barns. Just the one. So I don't need a big amount of feed, I reckon one one bale of each, put that in, probably do that two or three times and we'll be at 100%. So while I'm down here as well, I'll buy the other part of the Total Mix ration to stick to the front to make sure we can mix it all properly and we'll get back down to the cow barn. So one of each, which I did show in my tutorial. I'll just put the help guide on again for you so you can see what I mean, just in case you didn't see that. But if you want a full, complete guide to cows, check out that video. But all I do is one of each. I've dropped one silage in. I'm now going to drop this in. And as you'll see in the bars at the bottom, when we get reattached, it should be perfectly in the middle of the white arrows which is what you want and then you've got yourself some total mix ration it's as easy as that so we'll get reversed up get it attached and there you go so all we need to do now is drive into the barn get them fed we'll do this a couple more times so they get to 100 percent feed and that'll be the cows nice and happy on the farm they couldn't have come to a nicer farmer. Here you go girls, the feed is coming. Looks like I'm going to have to turn around again. Don't understand that bit though, it's making me turn around but I think unless I'm wrong the feed comes out on the left hand side. So this is going to be dropping it on the floor. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's coming out the left hand side, is it? Yeah, coming out the left hand side, but it is still going in. Ah well, there we go. Do this a couple more times and we'll get them up to 100% feed. Running a bit low on petrol as well. Diesel, so I need to go and get, uh, get some red diesel from down at shop. Well, that's the first batch in so that will get them going they'll start producing milk straight away a perfect start to cow life have a quick look around barn right here before we go back little troughs there I think this does auto fill the water so that's good I don't need to be filling them up with water as you can see the floors all covered nicely the milk comes out at the end, but well, this looks like a happy little pasture for him here. I think you're going to be happy here, girls. I have got about 60, I think, in here. 65. Obviously, the game only shows what it can show, so there's about 15. But the milk comes out at the end. We'll get it refilled there when we get when we need to. But we'll not bother with that until we've got enough that's worth collecting. I'm going to get one more total mix ration feed put in. And then that will about do it for feeding these. Leave them other three on the trailer. Oh, that's tight. Drop that one in. Get the silage in. As I did say on the other video, if you saw it, you can make more. If you want to get the ratio different. You can also use mineral feed, but I've not really found any benefit to that myself. 
I don't know if there's any point to it really unless you've got unless you're probably looking at a huge dairy farm where you've got like 10 of these pastures I mean when I've just got one I'm wanting to get into the production chains it's probably not worth it I will probably get another one of these actually it'll fit towards the left hand side I'll just drop this front loader off not going to need that again now so I could probably get another one in get it a bit like the sheep pastures down the other end where I've got two of the sheep barns, sheep pastures I'll reverse in this time, use my skills that went wrong perfect not so perfect perfect, I'll just drop it here wherever it prompts you you don't have to clean up on these either which is good I do like this barn, it's in keeping with the village do need to get the health of those up as well they have got enough food and everything now though as you can see the food is around halfway straws full we're also producing some slurry which is good so we can use that to spread on his big field so things are looking good on the old farm Before we leave today's episode I thought I'd have a look at what we can buy at the side of this. I'm looking at this dairy. This will be nice. Then start making chocolate and cheese. I've been looking down at some of the other production chains but we're not at that stage yet. Obviously we can start making muesli cereal, chocolate cereal when we've got the chocolate, things like that. But the bakery will take a bit more effort because you need the water, milk, strawberries. So I'm going to stick with the dairy farm for next, right next to the... Uh, right next to the cow shed make a nice organic beautiful little place for people to come and chill out and get a milkshake I'll leave it for there on this episode I hope you all have a lovely evening whatever you're doing and I'll hopefully catch you all on the next episode